Hey there lovely people, what's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing a massive, massive video. Uh, when I say massive, it means massive in my world. This fragrance line from House of Hugo Boss or some people say Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss basically, Hugo Boss, I say Hugo, it sounds cool. Uh, but Hugo Boss is uh, one of the first houses that started my fragrance journey. And as you guys all know, the Hugo Boss bottle line is a very popular line. This is the very first fragrance or the taste that I had or bite in this line. I have gone through multiple bottles. You have seen me reviewing this over and over again, comparing this with a lot of perfumes. So I have about eight from this line at this current moment. I had a couple more, but uh, I wish I had the spore today, like the whole line, but I cannot have everything, right? So I have about eight. So I'll talk about the Boss bottle line from the house of Hugo Boss. So when I'm talking to Hugo Boss, the sentiments always like fragrances, they come with sentiments, memories, you know. Uh, Hugo Boss bottle was a, such a fragrance. Let me show you. Let's start here, okay? Uh, this fragrance is now the more newer batches. It comes in multiple bottle sizes, 30, 50, 100, uh, 200 ml. I think there's massive 300 or something other bottle sizes. But basically the boxes were different back in the days. Like used to have a big writing of something like Hugo Boss or something. Very intense, very long lasting, like a sweet apple pie, cinnamon, sweet notes, citrus. Man, this fragrance, it was like a classic. My dad used to use this, you know, like since... Uh, I was in college in Malaysia so back in the days like this fragrance was like always in his shelf he loves this perfume uh, so my mom always got him like for a gift you know anytime like boss bottle was a fragrance like a this one and Armani coat basically were always in our house right so I kind of used to steal one or two sprays I used to use like Daniel Desire at the time uh, CK1 but I didn't have this because it's expensive so one fine birthday like uh, like I got this as a small 60 ml or 30 ml and that was my very first like proper like a fragrance that I really loved. I love Dunhill Desire Red, uh, the CK1 but uh, something about Hugo Boss Bottled and Lacoste Purum, my two very first love in fragrance game. So a lot of memories, sentimental reasons got reformulated over the years but thankfully they still have this EDT version which is the most top sold. Okay, and I'll talk about this first. I will say a lot of good things. It has a sparkling kind of like a lemon citrusy vibe. It got this nice apple scent and it's kind of fresh and goes a little bit on the sweeter side of apple. It's just a very known DNA, very high class masculine at the same time, the most common DNA, you know, like uh, Malaysian shopping malls, like in 2000s, if you roam around, every mall that has a shopping uh, perfume store, you'll smell Hugo Boss bottles, just a common DNA. That time, city name, Aventus, were not around, right? Uh, but this was the OG. So after that, they released a lot of flankers. We'll talk about them, look at them. And I reviewed many of them. They have a lot more. Uh, they always, you know, like release uh, these flankers. They think they can make money out of it, but not every single flanker was good. So the very first classic, this is perfection always. Uh, still last, but not as much as back in the days, but it has this semi-fresh, semi-sweetness for the autumn. Even like we can wear this almost all year round. The new version, you can wear it all the time. So EDT basically is the first one. Uh, this is for me in terms of smell, it's a 10. Performance perhaps is not like more than seven, but still it's a good one. This is where you should start. This is a good starting point for Hugo Boss bottle line. So they have the other lines as well, like the Sand, Man, Hugo by Hugo, many other lines, but I really feel Boss bottle line is the line that I want to focus today. I did review Boss house as a whole but this is just on the bottle so first one is for me is a perfection 10 for the smell Hugo Boss bottle EDT after that they released uh, like uh, Boss bottle EDP and intense EDP intense EDT the intense EDT was not that strong but this one now I heard EDT intensity or EDP both are discontinued something like it but this is the more stronger version and just let me show you the juice differentiation side by side they're both same size 100 ml but the cap is darker on the intensity p and juice is a bit darker okay so yeah you get a little bit darker juice basically what edp intensity p does is put two inten like uh, edt of hugo boss bottle in one bottle like compress it makes it that much stronger it has this added leather note which hugo boss bottle has but very mild leather this is proper leather scent you know not animalic sweet uh, base of leather you know this is what i feel got this still warm apples this is a lot more strong a lot more stronger less citrusy less uh, uh vibrant it's more of a serious sweetness it's definitely fall and winter and above like it's like cold intense weather leather jacket this is a perfume you should definitely look at 
will last double the time of the boss bottle ET. But you're not gonna get the sparkling citrus, you're gonna get that more sweet apple pie with a hint of leather. So this is definitely the best from this line. If you talk about the same smell wise, the EDT, intense EDT and intense EDP. EDP is the strongest in terms of performance, but this is a master class, like a 10 out of 10, this is a perfection in a bottle. So <clears throat> next one I'm gonna show is a fragrance I reviewed and got uh, in 2017, I think very first few bottles that I bought from Bangladesh when I started collecting, this is unlimited. So this one sadly now is uh, reformulated. The older boxes used to come with like a green stripe. You guys know that. And that used to, this is my older bottle. I don't know the batch number. Let me read the batch number to you. 6114. So this is like, a, I think 2016 batch or something like it. But this one lasted like about eight, nine hours on me. And I was surprised. I sprayed this and it does last on my skin for eight hours. That is ridiculous in summer, you know. Uh, I do not imagine fresh fragrances to last. Uh, usually, given the darker fragrance, they do not last that long on my skin because I have a dry skin. But this Unlimited, I really love the green and the white combination. This is pretty much in the same family as all the other Blanc, Blanc style fragrance like Mont Blanc Legend, Spirit or Lacoste L1212 White. Uh, many white fragrances every single house has one ck all but this one has that fruity pineapple -y, uh kind of like a green apple mint it's really lovely very pleasant and this is even i would say even like look at the atomizer it's green so this is a fragrance for summer this is a winner for summer this gets 10 out of 10 for me it's got this musky tone and the base really makes it lovely this perfume the bottle is so nice and the fragrance smells so pleasant in high heat you know you really want to wear this kind of fragrance, you know. So uh, for me, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, this one, Lacoste L1212, the white one, they're all fantastic. This again for summer, 10 out of 10. So I really love this. This is called Unlimited. And from here on, it's gonna get really confusing because they have Unlimited, United. Uh, there's one more was the next one. Uh, they have Infinite, but anyway, let me show you this next one. I got a big bottle. This is a lovely looking bottle of 200 ml. This Boss Bottle Tonic. So these bottles, if you can find 100 ml, I think it's good, but 200 ml is just the best. You know, you get the best value in terms of juice versus what you pay. You get the lot of juice. And the tonic one has lovely uh, aquatic, oceanic, like water sort of feel. It's very light, very, very light and kind of like aquatic vibes. It's ozonic, got the apples. And this is basically a fan favorite. If you actually watch George uh, from Britain, uh, he is like... A, What's this channel called? Fragrance Apprentice, right? He always loves this. He is obsessed with this perfume. And people just pull his legs and stuff once in a while. But I think this is really nice. Only complaint people have with this is that longevity and projection is not the best. Yeah, I would agree. But this is more um, like an... Think of style of Polo Blue, Versace Purim. That style, you know, it's like ozonic. You know, ozonic, what it means? It's supposed to be light, airy. You know, it's supposed to like be breezy, floating around not trying to be obvious sweet so i can still smell those apples but there's definitely some sort of a aquatic uh, and uh, ozonic notes added to it i don't remember all the notes don't ask me right now but i think this is a nice little perfume and this is like one of the good ones but if you want performance this is not the performance beast but this is good for office you know you smell fresh clean crisp right out of the laundry this is a smell that you get by the beach you want to spend some time breeze you know the ocean breeze by the beach so nice it goes nicely with it you know i really feel a little bit of breeze this fragrance really is magical okay so this is a tonic one uh this is basically it's i would say 7.5 out of 10 okay this is like one of their above average not the best like parts but better than definitely hugo boss bottle sport sport one is very weak this one definitely has more pores than that so the after that the darker brother of that one i consider this is the infinite I sang high praises of it. This one has that olive tree or olive leaves note and it got this strong apple again, but it's so much more sweeter. It has uniqueness to it. This fragrance is just so unique in the whole line. This smells like nothing in Hugo Boss bottle, but that apple behind in the background, that sweet apple is very amped up. It's a dark blue. It's sweetness, perhaps the strength of the, just let me show you. The tonic one and this one definitely has coloration difference okay you can see this more purplish blue this is just more aquatic blue right so yeah they are brilliant with the coloring you know so this one will give you more push like uh, you get from uh, David of cool water intense versus cool water the intense one is so sweet with that uh, tonka and then the 
what is the other one coconut this one doesn't have any coconut but does give that sort of a tropical vibe okay so this one you can wear it in the colder months if you like sweet perfume you can also wear it but excellent performer this is again 10 out of 10 okay so so far we have quite a few winners especially the boss intensity p the was the other one unlimited and this one all three i gave 10 so now let's enter the last three i have let's talk about the darker ones uh, the next one is a dark horse in the line this perfume is just i love this bottle first of all the bottle is just lovely blue base with a dark bottle and if you put it against the light you can see the juice level inside this is on the older fragrances okay this one is heavy heavy on violets and the violets kind of spicy woody uh, almost the point of leather you know it smells like leather but it's more woody spicy masculine and uh, Again, the apple is somewhere in the background, but it's not so much. Man, this fragrance perhaps is the longest lasting in the whole line. Yeah, uh, so far the ones that I showed you, this is longer lasting than the rest, almost. This has excellent longevity. At nighttime, I would say you would wear this. It smells different than others. Less citrus, less sweetness, more pepper, woodiness, and then the violet leaves. Heavy on violet leaves. If you know uh, Fahrenheit, if you know D Square, he would those kind of lines this is very similar it's like in the same family and i actually think there's a birch note in there which makes it lovely so this fragrance is for a little bit grown-ups you may not like it as a teenager but you know at first i did not like it so much it's the pepper a bit much and it projects like a lot it in the winter time if you wear this eight to ten hours long give it a man you know like daytime nighttime and it just leaves a huge scent trail behind you you know so that's can be a little bit too much but wear less enjoy hugo boss bottle night this is one of the best fragrances, you know, Hugo Boss released and did not get that much love, like at least in the community. But, you know, people who use fragrances, they love this perfume, you know, in general, normal people. Hugo Boss Bottle Night, I would say this is more like, again, 7.5 out of 10 if you talk about how interesting the smell is. But longevity is like near 10, like 9. OK, so Boss Bottle Night. I love that big bottle because it's more value, you know. So the last two is the Oud line. They released some Oud. Uh, very first fragrance they released was this one and it's a lot more pricey than the other Hugo Boss fragrance. Okay, this is the Boss Bottle Oud. I used to own this and I sold it off. I don't know why because I was not reaching for it or something. Winter was over and I was in a little bit of crisis of cash. Okay, uh, I like to op openly admit stuff. You know, people make fun of that, but it's okay. But, bo but Boss Bottle Oud, if you love Versace Oud Noir, if you like some of their Oud offerings in designer side, you know, they have a Oud from Gucci Guilty, you know, Every single house some, has some oud. This perfume right here, uh, it's more about the spices and the apple and the cinnamon, which are more amped up. Uh, and there's oud definitely there, but it's more woody than oud itself. And it doesn't smell like skanky oud. It's very playful. I had a small sample in 2016 or 15. And the fragrance, I, I used to travel with it, like the sample, you know, the airlines, you know, you just spray a little bit. And in the aircraft, you do not get to carry big bottles. But... I came and finished a small sample in Bangladesh one of those holidays time during winter and I was like craving for it, you know. So this is a fragrance that you may not wear every day, okay. And this is basically a winter perfume. But this perfume is just like a kind of fragrance you start missing after a while, you know, like one month gone by. And you'll be like, where is my Hugo Boss bottle? Oh, I miss the spicy apple because definitely it's like, I was wearing this wear in my hand, yeah. I was wearing this here. Oh, here, yeah. So this fragrance left a like, nice central, okay, and got really nice bottle, dark bottle, juice, I don't know what color it was, I forgot, but I think this color of gold and amber, beautiful. So this actually cost $20, $30 more than Hugo Boss bottle because of the name Oud. Any fragrance that has Oud will cost you more from design or niche. So they claim they use real Oud, but I get like a opening is very spicy apple sweet very sweet but it's still spicy with the cinnamon and some sort of other spices you know it's like a spiced apple uh if there was a thing called spiced apple latte <laughs> this is what it would be uh, and after that it's like the cinnamon and that uh woody dry down uh the longevity from this it's uh depending on the weather you know su summertime it's not super beast mode in the ac time it will last about five to six winter time this is a seven hours plus fragrance okay so it really depends on how the weather plays. So this one I recommend for nighttime, AC room, if you have AC in the car, in the office, or winter time. This is a beautiful perfume, but for mature noses, okay? This is kind of like uh, leading towards, trying to dig into niche, but it's quite high-end designer, okay? So Boss Bottle Oud. So after that, I did review Oud Saffron. 
the old saffron was my favorite but in the same episode i did review this one which i recently reviewed for review which is this green bottle and this is called a uh, boss bottle wood aromatic okay uh this is a lovely masterpiece this is true niche well uh, boss bottle wood was trying to enter the niche world this one actually is the niche world okay and i'll tell you why if you didn't see my review First of all, this has beast mode longevity. This one, you cannot compare the rest of this boss bottle with this one. Okay, even the longest lasting, let's say this two. <clears throat> all right, the boss bottle intensity P and the uh, United. No, what is it called? I always forget. Infinite, right? This ones you cannot compare with the performance of this. This fragrance right here, it will last you 10 hours, uh, 15 hours on shirt. Okay, on the next day, you can also smell it. This is a cold weather perfume. It features a beautiful, beautiful note of uh, uh, neroli, which is uh, orange blossom, very powdery sort of sweet tone. And then it, it mixes with some, so many other notes. It has some green facets, uh, some floral, some sweetness, and then the oud in the base uh, and something animalic. It's very animalic, okay? This is a perfume for gutsy people. If you have, you know, if you're like not really aware of daring perfumes, this will challenge you. If you do like Fleur de Mal, if you like Kuros, fragrance in that line this is a fragrance that you should get bit hard to find expensive hundred dollars something but i would say this is a perfume for people who actually want to play with danger you know like risk their uh you know like chances right perhaps i won't get you that many compliments possible like some people will not will not like it but tell you what this is a perfume if you actually want to get the best boss bottle uh, this is the highest of the orders okay this is why i'm reviewing this last and I'm really happy. I cannot wait for winter if God keeps me here. I would love to wear this. Amazing longevity, amazing projection, and the composition is just unbelievable, okay? Check out my full-on review uh, if I miss some notes. So this is the Boss Bottle line, and there are some sport. Sport version is nice, grapefruit, lemon, watery, vetiver, but doesn't last. I really want to buy that, but I'm like, discontinued. I'm like, maybe I'll buy it, you know, I don't know, but it's not a must-have. But from the Boss Bottle line, uh, there are many other fragrances. Check them out at a shopping mall. But the ones that I showed you, I really feel these are the ones you should own, right? If you really want to own some, these are some of the good ones. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this episode will help some people. And I just want to share my favorite line. But if you ask me, end of the day, which is my most favorite Boss Bottle, I come back to all the time. I would recommend you start here. Boss Bottle. This is the EDT. And uh, it smells just lovely. It's uh, <laughs> apple pie. You know, if you like Tommy by Tommy, YSL Loam, this fragrance should be easily in your collection. Most versatile, most reachable, safe compliment garner fragrance. And I think this is basically their money maker. Okay, so that's the one that I love the most. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Let's move on to the next video. Take care. Bye bye.